This is under hood check for mechanics grade 9. You can see in our picture here we have an under hood of a vehicle. This is the engine right here and down in this area is the transmission just to give you an idea where stuff is. So first thing we're going to do is check the engine oil. This is your engine oil fill cap and this is your engine oil dipstick. And so we're going to pull the engine oil dipstick out first. Let's just have a look at it first. You can see if you look closely and you'll look on yours that there are a couple lines there, a low and a high. Take note of those first and then you're going to wipe it off. The first thing you need is wipe it off. Pull it out, wipe it off, stick it back in. After that, let it settle a bit and then pull it out. And then you're going to have a look at the dipstick and you're going to see where the level of the oil is. If it's not obvious on one side, you'll flip it over. And if you need to add any, you're going to stick it, take the cap off and add oil into there. And that's how you do that. Good. So the next thing we're going to check is the power steering fluid. Now the power steering fluid could be a lot of different places. It could be right there on the pump where I'm pointing right now, or it could be, um, you know, attached to the other part of the vehicle. But in this case, it's right here. And you can see when you want to check it, there's some lines on a see-through container. It says maximum and minimum. There could be some times where you have to take the lid off and there'll be a little dipstick in there. But in this case, you just look on the side and just to make sure it's in between max and minimum. Next thing we're going to check is the uh, brake master cylinder, so the brake fluid. And so you can see if you look on the side, also this one you look through the side and you can see a minimum and a maximum there. The next one we're going to check is the coolant. This is the radiator and the radiator cap. If you look closely at the radiator cap, it says caution, never open when hot. That's important. It could burn you and bad things can happen. So we're going to look at the overflow tank. And if you look on the side here, you can see it says full and low. When it's cool, you want it on low. When it's hot, you want it on full. And the last thing we're going to look, like, look at is the clutch master cylinder. Now that sits in there and sometimes it has its own reservoir up in this area. But this time it's just attached right to the brake master cylinder and it uses the same fluid as that. 